Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create table, how to set the primary key, how to make identity column and we will see how to make the foreign keys to another table. So to create a table it is very simple, select the table, right click, say new table. Say I want to create a department table, I will say TEPT ID, department ID, the data type, I want the department ID to be of type int. So I have all the available data types that I can use. So I'll use integer data type. Allow null is checked by default. Now, if I have a department and if I say the ID of the department is null, it is meaningless. That means if I have a department, then the department ID should not be null. I'll uncheck this. I'll say DEPT name. It will be of type varchar. Varchar is nothing but string in our programming language. Size 50. And it should not be null. And here I'll say HOD. Even though it is meaningless to maintain the HOD in the table, just for our beginning and understanding purpose, I'm making HOD here. I'll say varchar 50. Now, this is the table I got. Department ID should be the primary key. Primary key is a key in the table using which I can identify a row uniquely. That means the values in the primary key column should not get repeated and no value should be null. So there are two constraints or two things that we need to remember about a primary key. The first is primary key does not allow null value and the second thing is that primary key does not allow duplicate values. Now I want to make this column as primary key. So it is very simple. Select the column, right click and select set primary key. Now if I want to make a composite primary key, it's nothing but a primary key which contains more than one column. Then I can press control and I can select multiple columns and I can right click and I can right click and say set primary key remove primary key. Now I don't want that. I want a single column to be primary key. I'll set the primary key on single column and I'll save this. At the time of saving this it will ask me the table name. So I'll say tbl underscore dept. So these are the coding standards that we normally follow. Your table name will have a prefix tbl and say ok. Now if I explore this tables folder, you should find department table here. I'll close this. Now I'll create one more table. I'll say add new table. This time I'm going to create employee table. So I'll say employee ID of type int. It should not allow null. Okay, let me say allow null. Ename of type varchar 50 and E salary of type float which allows even points and E gender say varchar 10 and E date of birth say date time data type so I have a date time data type available with me which works with dates. And finally this employee belongs to what department? So I should have department ID as foreign key here. I'll write DEPT ID. It should be of same type that we created earlier so it should be of integer type. A foreign key can have null value and a foreign key can have repeated value. So foreign key 
is quite opposite when we look at the property and compare it with primary key primary key does not allow null value whereas foreign key allow null value primary key does not allow duplicate values whereas foreign key allows duplicate values now let me make employee id as primary key i can set the primary key even from here the icon that i have the icon that i have on the bar toolbar as soon as i set the primary key automatically it has removed allow null from here because primary key does not allow null value now what i want is id i don't want to give it or assign it manually i want this column to generate values automatically so because it is an integer column i can set auto generate true on this auto generate is nothing but is identity in our sql server i'll say is identity true identity seed is 1 identity increment is 1 that means it should start with 1 and it should always increment it by 1 so by default the first record will get 1 second record will get 2 third record will get 3 so start with 1 increment it by 1 i'll save this i'll name it as tbl underscore emp and i'll save this now what i want is i want one more column in this table that is contact number so i can simply select a column right click and i'll say insert column i'll get a column here i'll write contact of type varcare 50 and i'll keep it as allow null i have saved this now what i want is i want this contact column to be unique means what if i have inserted a contact number i should not reinsert the same contact number again the contact number should be unique so how do i make a column unique see as employee id does not allow duplicate value in the same way i want contact id should not allow duplicate values that means i should not have two employees with same contact number as i cannot assume two employees with same employee id in the same way my requirement is that i don't want two employees with same contact number even though it is possible to have two employees same contact number but in my requirement it is like that so i want to make this column as unique so how do i do that it is very simple select the column right click and go for indexes slash keys and add a new index and select the column that you want to make unique i want to make contact as unique say okay is unique is no here you make it to yes and close this save this that's it now your contact column becomes unique now let us examine that how do we examine that it's very simple right click on employee table say edit top 200 rows now i can start inserting the data into the table employee id i cannot insert any value in this because it is auto increment employee name i can write it as tom employee salary 7000 employee gender male date of birth i should input the value in the format mmddyy so i should give month first then date then year contact number department id say 1000 if you observe i got id 1 automatically now i'll insert another record say peter employee salary 8000 gender male date of birth 9/4 slash 
स्लैश नाइनटीन नाइन नाइन इफ यू ऑब्जर्व इट सेज दैट इन वैलिड डेट बिकॉज आई हैव रिटर्न वन नाइन एक्स्ट्रा कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर एज वी नो दैट just now we made the contact number as unique i'll simply try to copy and paste the same contact number and i'll move next department say the same thousand department it says that cannot insert duplicate in the column because we have so and so constraint i need to change the contact number this is 1000 Now this should work. So this is very simple. This is how we have created two records. Now I have the constraint unique on contact number. If you observe, I get the records one, two, three, auto increment values in my employee table. But one thing you should observe that I am inputting the values for department ID as thousand, but do I have any department with thousand as department ID? No. Then how is that it is accepting? It should not accept that unless and until we do not have department, I cannot give the department ID. It is accepting because we haven't created any relationship. We haven't created primary key and foreign key relationship. So I'll make. these values as null as of now and i'll show you how to create the relationship normally the practice that i follow which is easy is that explore the database diagram right click say add new database diagram it will ask the table let us add the child table first then the parent table now i have the diagram with me i have two tables and i know very well that the primary key of one table will act as a foreign key in another table so relationship is from here till here so it is very simple select the column select it drag and drop on the child column where it is acting as a foreign key it will ask us the information yeah it is the same i'll say okay and say okay save this now the information got saved now the relation has been established now let us go to the employee table now let us try to insert 1000 here now it will stop us from doing this because there is no record with 1000 let's skip this so what is it i need to do i need to create the parent record first then add the child record i'll say 1000 department is testing hod is majid i have one more department 1001 said development and hod is manzoor now if i go to this table and if i insert 1000 it is going to accept it if i give 1001 it will accept it if i try to give 1002 it is going to reject it why because there is no department 1002 so that's it this is very simple this is how we can create table we can create primary key we can create foreign keys we can insert the value we can make unique keys we can make identity columns thank you very much